What is up everybody? It's Hey It's Lou from xdadevelopers.com and this is a first uh, video in a series that I'll be doing on some basic Android uh, development. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, APK Tool which is something that was developed by an individual from XDA, Brutal. Uh, basically what this tool does is it allows you to re-engineer uh, APKs in frameworks as well. Um, what's so significant about this tool is it allows you to make edits to XMLs um, in readable English as opposed to um, using a hex editor and modifying binary code on these XMLs. Um, now if you've ever tried to do it this way uh, you're gonna find that and you've never tried APK tool um, you're gonna be uh, uh, exposed to an amazing new way to do this because quite frankly it's so easy to make uh, mods now using APK tool. So big thanks to Brutal for this. Uh, it's, it's an amazing tool that's helped me out so much. So the first thing you want to do is open up your web browser. Now um, I should also mention that I'm using Linux Mint. I'm using the new 10.10. Uh, um, I do all of my my work and in fact I just switched over to, to using Linux as my primary uh, operating system. So uh, these directions are going to apply to Linux Mint. However, if you go to Google and type in APK tool and the first hit right here you're going to see that uh, this is the uh, <clears throat> Google project hosting for APK tool um, there's also directions um, according to what operating system you're using either Windows Linux or Mac again we're going to be following these Linux instructions now uh, one little glitch about APK tool if you try to come over here to the featured downloads and download the newest version uh, 1.3.2 I believe it is there's some glitches in that and I've learned this the hard way it will mess up your resources it doesn't decompile or, or recompile properly so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go over here to downloads you're gonna wanna select all downloads as soon as this pops up uh, what you're going to want is you're going to want the one over here that says uh, this one right here, APK Tool 1.3.1 TAR. Uh, should have a, re a upload date of June 14th. Okay. And um, you're going to also want, let's see here. This right here, APK Tool Install Linux 2.2, uh, looks like it's revision 1-1, tar.bz. You're going to want that. It has an upload date of June 4th. Okay, so download uh, both of those. I've already got them here on my desktop. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, extract them. Okay. So what I do is I drag these out here onto my desktop. Get the APK Tool.jar. You're going to want to open up a terminal window. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the permissions on all three of these files to root permissions. Okay, The way that we do this is with the command chown, C-H-O-W-N. Now dash R is, is root. You could also use um, 755, which also is uh, the root permission. If you were to open up a ROM and uh, take out the update script or the updater script, you'll also see the under the permission section of that script you're going to see 755 used um, on things like um, uh, busybox and and in the system because that's a root permission it works the same in Linux now what you're going to want to do is um, whatever your home directory is called which is how you set uh, when you set up Linux you had to choose a home directory name um, which is what you see right over here um, you're going to want to do chown dash capital R uh, home directory colon home directory name okay now what I do is you could type out the whole path or you could just drag this icon in hit enter we're gonna want to do this for all three Okay, now all of these have root permission. Now what we want to also do is mark each of these as an executable file. So the way that we do that is by a command uh, chmod. So we're going to type in sudo chmod plus x. Now we're going to drag each one of these in. 
type in your password. You're only gonna have to type in your password for the first uh, for the first time you use the sudo command. Okay, now all of these three files have the uh, root permission as well as they're marked with an executable flag. Okay, so what we can do is uh, just type clear. That clears out your terminal. Okay, um, and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to move these three files. So where we're going to want to move them, if you uh, double click on your home um, folder icon, then over here in the left under the places pane, click file system. Then we're going to click user, local, and then once you get to bin, if you right click on bin, come down to where it says open as administrator, that'll have you type in your password, one, two, three, four, of course, and then uh, what we're going to do is you just highlight these three files, drag them into the window. I've already done that. You can see one, two, and three, they're already in there, so no need to do that. So essentially, APK tool is now ready to go. So if you come back to your terminal and type in APK tool and then hit enter, you're going to be given this whole list of uh, letting you know that it's a tool for re-engineering Android APK files. Um, it gives you a list of some of these commands. This is helpful. So if you're looking to do things like if you're working with uh, multiple frameworks, you can tag each framework. Um, so when you're decompiling an APK that depends on um, the framework, such as the Rosie, depends on um, both the framework um, res.apk and the com.htc.resources.apk, um, you can flag that particular uh, APK with uh, letting, basically referring to a specific set of framework files. Um, so if you're working with multiple frameworks, like I've got two different ROMs and one has Evo framework, one has Incredible framework, um, I can flag, I don't know, install the framework files and then flag them. So when I'm decompiling, I can reference the appropriate uh, framework. So anyway, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to decompile a framework now. <clears throat> so I'm going to come into, uh, let's see here, um, let's go into one of my ROMs. Let's go into Redemptive. Okay, let's go to version 2.1. And let's pull out Framework Res. Actually, you can just copy it right to the home folder. Now, you're going to want to make sure whatever file you're decompiling, um, just stick it in your home folder. It's easier. So you don't have to CD into anything. Basically, all you're going to do now is come in, into terminal, type in APK tool, D. That's for decompile. What are we decompiling? Where we're we're going to re decompile framework res that APK, and we want it uh, to decompile it into um, an out directory. So when you hit enter, it's going to load the resource table. It's going to decode all the resources, and then it's going to copy the asset and libs. So now, if we open up your home folder. You're going to see here's the, uh, the directory out, which we specified right in here. So when you come into out, um, this is what you have here. Now when you click on res, this is basically like if you were to change the extension to framework res.ipk uh, to .zip, uh, or in Linux, actually, you can just right-click and extract it directly without changing the extension. Um, it's very similar. However, if you were to open up, say, drawable, now you see all these XMLs. If you were to do this without decompiling it, um, you wouldn't be able to open this XML. Um, you'd have to, you know, look at it with a hex editor and look at the binary code. This is what makes APK Tool so amazing. Now I'm going to keep this window open, and it's uh, it's going to help explain this XML um, by showing you some images that it refers to. So, for instance, um, in my ROMs I have the battery mod and any battery mod really that you see um, that calculates every 1%. Um, the standard sense, uh, and I, I think it goes for vanilla Android as well, um, doesn't uh, calculate its battery uh, gain or loss uh, every 1%. It does it every 20%. So you actually have to modify 
some of these XMLs for the system to be able to read every 1%. Uh, it's not just a matter of dropping in images. You have to make the modification. So if uh, I open up this res folder again, except I go into the drawable HDPI version 4 file, okay, here's where the majority of, of all of the images are um, for framework res.apk. Now, um, and it's, they're in their decompiled form. So, for instance, if you find any .9 PNGs, anyone out there who's ever dabbled in theming, it's going to actually show you their guides, like this one right here, for instance. It'll show you where the guides are set up. Um, so if you need help learning on where to put guides, you can just open up one of these, and it kind of shows you how they set up their guides. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to search for, uh, just type in bat. It's going to pull up anything uh, that has bat in it. I'm looking for these battery images. So um, here's all the battery images for Redemptive Revolution uh, 2.1. So as you can see here, you know, there's number 9 for when it gets down to, num to 9%. Now, basically to get this mod done, you can't just drop the images in like I said before. There has to be referencing XMLs. Okay, so when we come in here into the, the drawable directory, here's where the XMLs that are responsible to point the system to these PNGs are. So, for instance, if you come down here to, uh, let's see here, statsys battery charge, XML, open it up. No more binary code. Now it's actually readable English. So as you can see here, to get the uh, one, uh, actually, wait, is this the... Oh, this is charging. Whoops, my bad. I need to open up Statsys Battery, this one here. Okay, so um, normally, instead of um, having a bunch of strings that just have 20, 40, 60, 80, uh, 100, and so on, um, strings have to be created for each person 1%. So starting off here at 0, as you can see, it goes all the way down to 100%. Okay, so by creating this and then supplying the supporting images this is going to allow the system to read your battery in every one percent so this is how a mod like that is done you know and um, apk tool allows you to do it this easy um, so if you wanted to make any changes to these xml's you do so uh, by editing them just like that okay and then um, what you would do when you're all said and done is we're going to come back to terminal we're going to cd into the out directory. Okay. Now we're going to type in the command apk tool b. This tells apk tool to now build the apk. So it's going to check uh, whether resources have changed or not. Then what it's going to do is going to build your new resources. This could take a while, a um, minute or two. Now, uh, if there was any errors, it's going to output whatever errors are there. So um, you'd be able to go back based on whatever errors are there and, and uh, fix whatever is needed. However, there was no errors done. It built the APK. So if you come back in to your out directory, look under dist, and here's the APK. So basically what you do at this point is if you right click, I'm using um, opening with archive manager. Okay, you're going to pull out this file here, resources.arsc, and you're going to also put, if you changed any images, you're going to pull out your res file. Okay, So pull those two files out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in. I'm going to grab my framework, the original, which I could probably just rip out of my home folder, the one that was used to, to decompile, but I'm worried like that. so. We're going to just copy this to the desktop. Now what we want to do is we want to go into an archive manager. I use Arc. If you're in Linux, you can go, or Linux Mint, you can go into, uh, or standard Ubuntu for that matter, you can go into the software manager, type in Arc, and um, download that. It's an awesome little uh, archive manager. So open it with Arc. What we're going to do is we're going to delete the resources.arsc and the whole res folder. Okay, So those are both like, both gone completely. Now what we're going to do is go to right click, open with Archive Manager. 
we're going to take the resources.arsc and we're going to take the res folder drag those in now that's all done so I no longer need this out directory or this framework I'm just going to delete those okay so really the only other step I do at this point is I zip align this so we're going to use the Android SDK to do that so we're going to come back to terminal you're going to type in clear okay now we're going to type in CD and then right next to your number one key you're going to um, hold on to shift and hit that symbol right there whatever that thing is called that this is going to CD you in uh, back to um, basically your home home directory um, so now we're going to go CD home uh, go to the location of your SDK I happen to have mine in my home directory <clears throat> now we're CD'd into the tools directory inside the SDK um, to zip align you're gonna hit um, period backslash shout out Maddie G what's up man Twitter um, period backslash and then we're gonna type in zip align and then the compression level Dan what's up man um, four and then uh, you can type out the path it's just easy enough to just drag it and drop it in it'll type out the path for you now you have to tell zip align what the output file name is going to be just the same exact thing uh, frame work res.apk hit enter if everything all went well it's going to tell you all this stuff is compressed all right um, and it's going to tell you right here uh, verification successful now um, I can make another video on this but you know if you're theming you should be compressing um, all of your PNGs to optimize for RAM usage um, and then at the very end um, after you sign this application now this is a system uh, APK so we're not going to sign it with our test keys however if you were doing a non-system APK make sure to zip align after you sign if you sign if you zip align and then sign the APK it's going to actually just break all the compression so um, this is all done all right, so we can actually close this out. I don't need this one anymore. We can just delete it. I'm going to come back over to my tools directory. We're going to rip out the framework res.apk. And now all our changes are done. Uh, it's been zip aligned. It's been compressed. It's been optimized. Everything's great. Um, I always keep um, these two uh, folders down here, a meta INF and a system. Um, I use these to put all my flashable content together, and I'm using them constantly. So I just decided to keep a copy of each on the desktop inside the meta inf com google android you've got my update script this is pretty generic script it works for pretty much anything i'm testing um, i tell the script to delete uh, uh, recursively delete the delphic cache meaning um, go to it's going to delete the delphic cache directory anything inside and then i tell it to copy the package system which is this to the system directory on the phone and uh, show progress that's basic this is what controls that little uh, progress bar in your recovery okay so that's what I have there so um, right now I have an app uh, the app directory folder in there we're going to delete that because it's not going to app this is going to framework so we type in framework drag your framework res apk inside okay now what we're going to do highlight them both we're going to hit compress we label it whatever you want framework underscore test compress it here's the compressed version now that's not ready yet we got to sign it so I've got a signing script uh, set up I got this um, from a post that Amon Ra did and I believe it's in the G1 forum I can do a video on this if people want um, but it comes in handy uh, quite a bit so I have my this script in my Nautilus script directory so I'll be, I, it gives me the ability to right click on something go to script and then hit sign okay so framework test.zip was uh, the signed version was created we don't need this one anymore I want to rename this it's just uh, I could actually edit the script I'm just too lazy I guess but uh, it puts signed at the end of everything um, so you want to make sure you delete sign and it just says dot zip at the end okay so now this is done it's ready for you to uh, mount your phone that's what she said and uh, <laughs> I know terrible joke uh, so put phone into uh, disk drive mode 
Okay, here we go. So uh, there's my phone, my SD card, uh, the internal memory. So I'm able to now just take this, drag it onto uh, the root of my SD card. Eject. All right. Um, now this is ready for me uh, to reboot into recovery and to flash it like I would any other ROM. Um, so hopefully this guy, uh, this kind of tutorial uh, helped you guys out. Uh, again, we set up APK tool and I showed you how to uh, decompile uh, and then recompile um, a framework. So uh, I'm going to be doing uh, a series of videos on some basic Android uh, development stuff. So um, hopefully you guys look forward to those and we'll talk to you later.